Yeah. Like I said, I, I, I presume not a red pill, and I listen to CGA, if you know who CGA is. And mm. CGA talks about how men in the West were mm. always chasing women. And if you mm. know anything about chasing women, when you chase women, you actually mm. lose them. And so mm. what actually makes women chase you is when you're not available. When you're, when you're unavailable, that means mm. you focus on your purpose, you're in the gym, you're working on your money, working on all, all this, et cetera, et cetera. Click the link below to get the ebook Looks Don't Matter, Seven Ways to Attract Women Without Your Looks, or go straight to MrLocario.com right now to get your copy today. Yo, yo, what up, what up, what up? What's going on? What's going on? What's popping? It's your boy, Mr. Locario. What's good? What's going on? Shout out to all the people. Man, you know... I wanted to do this live real quick. What's popping? <clears throat> we got in here. Uh, Alesco, what up? Malek, what's good? Todd, Pierre, Vincent, what's going on? Hard Wayne, what's good? What's good? David J, was popping? He says, this is your burner account. Hilarious. So I got this hat from this is like a Vans hat or some shit. <clears throat> it's a regular, regular hat. What's popping? What's up, the body tapering? What's going on? What's going on? So real quick, I wanted to talk about um, you know, I was I was thinking about this the other day. I actually did a whole video about what I'm about to talk about, and I was outside and the video got all fucked up. So I was like, I'll, I'll do it again. I'll just do it on here, but. What was crazy or what was like making me think, and this is like a, a sort of like a, a PSA for dudes out here in the game trying to make shit happen, but they're really not trying to make, they're really not making things happen. You understand? Like the guys who are having problems and struggling and all that other shit, I really want you guys to see what I'm saying. <laughs> right? I'm, I'm, I want you guys who have issues getting with women, all the guys that have trouble getting girls, right? I want you to stop um, talking about women like y'all know women. It's getting ridiculous now. What up, AT? What's going on? What's popping? But yeah, dudes who aren't getting women need to stop talking about women like they know them and what i mean is i get a lot of email i got a, a lot of comments and a lot of fucking um you know uh messages from dudes who they've only been with maybe three women in their whole life those three women played them or whatever or they just didn't have good experiences with those women and now they get on the comments and they talk about how fucked the women are like I, I need you guys to chill <laughs> you understand what i'm saying like it's getting ridiculous because understand this there are other guys who are trying to learn what up bernard rally in the building what's going on there's other guys that are trying to learn and if you're sitting there talking shit but you actually have no experience with women the guys who are trying to learn they got they're young and they're impressionable so they're going to listen to what you're saying and take that as the real thing you see what i'm saying so I say I say it like this: If you haven't had, you know, consistent positive experiences with women, you have to shut the fuck up. I'm telling you guys this. Listen, you have to like be quiet. Like, don't say nothing. Don't say anything. Right. So if you haven't had consistent positive experiences with women, please don't comment about what women are and how they are don't make videos like even uh, listen a lot of content creators unfortunately right 
Y'all will say shit, but y'all don't know what you're talking about. So if you don't know what you're talking about, please put a disclaimer and say, hey, listen. Um, <laughs> they say, hey, listen, be like, look, I'm just talking about what I think. I, I, you know, this is not what it, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about, but this is just my opinion. If you guys do that, that'll be great. Put a disclaimer, say, I'm not a dating coach. I'm not, a, you know, a, a guy who understands the game, but this is my opinion. If you do that, that's cool. But the problem is, is that when guys who don't really know about game preach like they know about game, you understand? Kingley, you said, uh, do you think guys are lying about the experiences with women or is it the issue uh, they're making general statements to issue? Well, that, that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. They're not lying about their experiences, but they don't have enough experience to be talking about it. In the sense of how they're talking about it. What up, my dude, Mr. Black? What's going on? So, for example, right? Let's say, let's say, uh, for example, um, I start a YouTube channel, or let's say I start going and commenting on on uh, fitness videos. Like, let's say I start a YouTube channel about fitness, or I start commenting on fitness videos. Let's say there's a a, a guy who's a fitness ex expert. And he says, hey, do this, this, and this. And these are the type of things that will help you lose weight, burn fat, whatever it is, right? Now, I go into the comments and I say, you don't know what you're talking about because I've been trying to get a six pack uh, for two months and it hasn't happened and blah, blah. So I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about. Do you understand what I'm saying? And then that fucks up the situation for other people trying to learn. So if somebody's trying to learn from this person or trying to make something happen and they see my comment talking about, oh, well, you don't know what you're talking about because I tried to have a six pack in two months and it didn't work and blah, 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 blah. Then it's not going to help anybody. And you're just sitting there talking shit about something you don't know. You see what I'm saying? So it's the same thing when we talk about dating and relationships. If you don't have positive experiences with women on a consistent basis, you have to shut the fuck up. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Because you don't know what you're talking about. It's that simple. It's that simple. So, and this is what you have to understand. Guys who have positive experiences with women also have negative experiences with women or even what you would you know, consider negative. The difference between guys who have positive experiences with women and guys who only have negative experiences with, with women is that the guys who only have negative experiences with women have no positive experiences with women. So those are the guys who are the loudest, the guys who have the negative experiences with women and no positive. You see what I'm saying? So if you have no positive experiences with women, you can't really give an accurate picture of what it's like to be a guy who can deal with women. You understand? That's what you have to understand. So you got, you have to, you have to, like, I say it like this. If you, um, you know, consistently have positive experiences, meaning, of course, you got negative ones here and there. But if you don't have positive experiences, what that means is, is that you, your game is weak as shit. See, guys who have strong game have positive experiences with women. Guys who have weak game have a lot of negative experiences with women. So if you have weak game, you have negative experiences with women. And therefore, you should shut the fuck up about knowing about women. That's all I'm saying. You can talk about your experiences. I'm not telling you not to talk about it. I'm just saying... Don't act as if you know. That's all I'm saying. Because if you act as if you know, you understand what I'm saying? Then what happens is, is that you're fucking it up for people who don't know who's trying to learn. You understand what I'm saying? TX, you said I like your content, but I disagree with you on this one. Well, come up on the stage, bro. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I'm going I'm I'm to go live. Let's talk about it. Because I'll be damned if I'm trying to learn something about what I don't know about. And then I keep seeing people say this thing about this thing I don't know about. What up, what's going on, bro? What's good? What's good, so what's going on? What's your, what's your opinion on this? As, as far as like, oh, he's, he's saying like the gang part? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so 
I definitely get where you I consume a lot of your content as far as the game part. I agree with the game, but I also consume a lot of red pill content. And uh, from what I what I know of when I've consumed a CGA, game doesn't always work with women because women are selling sex these days, and they they're finding some some kind of type of way to get something out of men. So I use your your tactic as far as like telling women like what you want up front. Hasn't always worked. I'm not saying not okay, how is wait, how on that, hold on I'm gonna separate. How is telling a woman what you want up front? How has it not always worked? Because I because I I, I I believe it always does work. Give yeah, me an I, example, give me an example of how it didn't work. Okay, like say for early I, disclaimer I won't name a person, but earlier I was like uh, to miss a girl I was like you trying to hook up and she was like I got work and so. My translation, I already knew what that meant, that she wasn't interested, and so I left it alone. And it's, it's been other times where I have told, told women I wanted to, to hook up, and they, they kind of had that woman needs excuse of not wanting to hook up. And so, like I said, yeah. I'm not saying it. That's my point. It worked. <laughs> because if you say what you want, either they're going to say yes or they're going to say no. So how did it not work? It worked. They said no. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, that's the point of being direct. You tell them what you want. The girls who want to do it, they're going to do it with you. The girls who don't want to are going to say no. So instead of you being indirect and them wish, being wishy-washy and giving you the runaround, you basically didn't waste time. So how did you not get what you what you wanted? Well, I mean, I didn't get sex at the end of the day, you know. Right, but that's, but that's my point. All you have to do is find the girl who wants to have sex with you. That's what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is is that, when like, like for example, if you was to go, if you was trying to, you was trying to go buy Jordans, right? And you go to this one sneaker store, you say, hey, you got the Jordans? I want to I want to pay for some Jordans. They might say, nah, I ain't got that. We just ran out. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to another store, and they're going to be like, nah, we just ran out. And you probably go to a third store, and they'll be like, yeah, we got the Jordans. You get the Jordans, you give them the money, and then you get what you want. So that's what I'm saying. You're still getting what you want by being direct in the situation. That's what I'm trying to say. So how, are, how, are, how does it not work? That's what I'm saying. You must have two different definitions of working. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's that's probably what it is. Uh, I have two other, nah, I, I wouldn't say I have two different definitions of working. Mm -hmm. But I guess it kind of, for me, it kind of falls back on being outcome dependent because at the end of the day, when I do tell them what I want, I mm -hmm. kind of expect sex, but most mm -hmm. of the time it, it hasn't happened as much lately. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. Right? But that's what, this is all I'm saying. What I'm saying is this, is that if you was to say to a dude, hey, listen, if you tell girls what you want, it's not going to work. A guy who's trying to learn how to get women and get sex um, and, 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 you know, get it quickly or get it how he wants to get it, he's going to be like, you know what? Well, he said it's not going to work, so I'm not going to try. And then, therefore, he's, he's going to miss out on girls who would have had sex with him. You see what I'm saying? That, that's what I'm talking about. So if you was to tell a guy, yo, this shit don't work, who, and let's say he's an 18-year-old kid trying to, trying to come up, he's going to think, Man, well, I guess it don't work, so I shouldn't even bother. That's that's my point. You see what I'm saying? Whereas I'm telling them, listen, there's a lot of women that I had sex with where I told I told them, listen, I want to have sex. Let's hook up. Let's do this thing. And they're like, all right, cool. And then there was a bunch of other women who didn't do it. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Where when 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 a lot of guys when guys don't have success in it, they're talking about the parts of this of the situation that they didn't necessarily like, which was them not getting the sex. And I understand that. But at the same time, what about the other side of the spectrum? So what I'm saying to you is, has there been a time where you told a girl, hey, listen, I want to have sex with you. I want to fuck with you. I want to hook up. And she was like, yes. And y'all hooked up. It, it, yeah, but it's been, it's been a while for that. But yeah. <laughs> right, but that's what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is if it did, then why, why don't you say that part of it? Why is it always the part that when the girl didn't have sex with you? You see what I'm saying? That's, mm -hmm. that's all I'm talking about. So if you told the girl, hey, listen, I want to have sex, I want to hook up, and she fucked, then what's the issue? You see what I'm saying? Why, 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 isn't, it, why isn't it when, uh, uh, why isn't that typed in the comments? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When, when dudes are talking about it. Yeah, I, don't, that's I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't have a direct response on that one. <laughs> that's all I'm saying, bro. I'm just saying that guys who are having positive experiences in the situation, 
those are the ones who most guys should be listening to. But unfortunately, most guys listen to the opposite. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? And, that, and that's a problem because then that's going to stop progress from a lot of guys actually getting what they want. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. I also kind of got, because I, cause like I, said, I, I consume a lot of your content. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's another aspect of it, as far as your your perspective on the on the red pill that you don't agree with that mm -hmm. that I, I I tend to not really agree with you on because I don't really get you said you don't believe in the whole looks money and status shit right and so yeah. I kind of why why is the case you don't believe in looks money status well the thing is that looks money and status is surface level stuff so for example right let's let's just let's just break down looks let's say um, let's say you have a woman on Tinder and she gets like, let's say she got a, like, she got like 200 matches or something, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say out of those 200 matches, 30 of them are guys she thinks looks good, right? And all 30 of them are trying to holler at her. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? What, what good are the, each of those 30 guys looks if she's going to pick one of them? You understand what I'm saying? Like, what is it? It all cancels out. So what I'm saying is, there's nothing wrong with looks, meaning you can attract the woman with your looks and you can get a, get with the girl and she can be sexually attracted to you because of your looks. But what happens is looks, money, and status is surface level. So that means that it's not enough to really pull consistently. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is, is that uh, a guy who hits on all cylinders, meaning all of his, the, the entirety of who he is, is always going to beat out a guy talking about looks, money, and status. Because looks, money, and status doesn't make you unique. You understand what I'm saying? I got money. I'm sure you got money. A lot of people in the chat got money. So what make what makes us different if we all got money? What makes us different? You see what I'm saying? So if it's all about the money, then what makes us different? If we yeah. all, you and, and a bunch of other dudes is hollering at a chick, why would she, what's going to make her pick you or me or anybody else or want to fuck with me, you or anybody else, if we all have money? You see what I'm saying? Like, what's the difference between us? That's that's what I'm saying. Uh, well, I mean, from my understanding is that with 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 the whole looks money status, you get a certain slew of women when you have that. I say, for example, I'm not I'm not sure if you're familiar with the YouTuber. He mostly he he started off doing fitness, but now he has a red pill content page. Mm. So I, I mostly follow his red pill content page. But Austin Dunham, Austin mm. Dunham had plenty of videos where he exposed the black app and Tinder and how this man basically gets, gets to skip the line with women. Mm. You know? That pretty much like majority of the women that he matches with who want to fuck him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, did did you see him fuck him? I mean, I don't know <laughs> business on that, but no, but that's what that's what I'm saying. I did a video exactly like that. I showed a video where I showed my my Tinder inbox and I had over two thousand matches. You see what I'm saying? And I showed all I showed the, the chick sending me messages talking about, oh, honey, you're so handsome, all this other stuff. And what I'm saying is, is that when you're talking about real life, this is what I'm saying. Yes, if you look good and women are physically attracted to you, sometimes they'll be sexually attracted to you and want to have sex with you. That's true. What I'm saying to you guys is this, is that that's not enough because that doesn't happen all the time like that. That's what I'm trying to say. Meaning, what I'm trying to say is, is that, like, for example, I used to actually model with polo jeans, like the company polo jeans back in the day when I was like 20, I'm 40 years old now. When I was in my early 20s, I was modeling with polo jeans, right? Um, so I, my, some of my good friends were models, like the dudes that you see on the, the damn mag the magazines and the, all of that shit and the, and the, and the he's on the billboards and all that other stuff. Those are my peoples. So these are model dudes, like six foot with the six pack, all that other crazy shit, right? So women would get would check them out and be like, yo, uh, he's good looking, but that all the time didn't equate to them getting the women. You understand what I'm saying? Because what happens is a woman at the end of the day has to feel you. And also it's easy for a woman to get a good looking guy. Getting a good looking guy isn't special for a woman. Women can get good looking guys every day of the week. That's, that's nothing. So what women look for is, okay, he's good looking, but what else is there? You see what I'm saying? That's, that's the thing. So it's like, what else is there? That's what women look for at the end of the day. That's what I'm saying where, yes, your looks can be a thing that can attract the woman because she's looking at you and she's like, you look good. But at the end of the day, that does not equal to fucking. That's, that's what I'm saying. So, so he could show you all the chicks saying, oh, yeah, you look good. I want to give it to you, blah, blah, blah. 
But until in, unless that equates to sex, that don't mean shit. Women talk shit all day. You understand what I'm saying? I've had women talk going on the. Uh, I got a video about this. Um, these chicks hit me up on Tinder talking about, "Hey, handsome. Oh, this. You're so. Be I love your skin. All this other nonsense." And I said in that video, I showed maybe like seven to eight girls who did that. None of them I fucked. You know what I'm saying? And I, w I wanted to do it, but it never happened because of schedules. Some of them was like flaking, whatever the fuck it was. But that's what I'm trying to say where a lot of guys on the internet have this, have this thought, but they're not living in reality. You see what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. even that dude you was, you was mentioning, I'm, I'm, I'm guaranteeing you that there's a lot of the women that sent him messages and all that other stuff that he never met that he probably tried to meet and he didn't fuck. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm sure he probably, you know, smashed a few girls here and there. But what I'm saying is the same thing he's doing, he's not special. Any dude could fucking do that shit. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't have to do with you got to be the best looking, have to have the fucking most money or the status. And matter of fact, what is status though? What, what do we talk about when we talk? Give me an example of status because we talk about looks and money. What's the status? Okay, so status would be like, I guess it all depends like, Obviously, you're a content creator. You have a platform. You have you have influence. So you have the YouTube status of, of that influence. Or we could talk mm -hmm. about the Dwayne Johnsons of the world. We could talk about the Kevin Hart's. We could talk about the Futures. Mm -hmm. Those type of people, they look good, but they also have the the status. So yeah, but how many but how many guys are going to be those dudes though? That's like less than one percent of the population. So That's so what fair. what do regular what do regular guys do to, to, to become to have status? What do what do regular guys do? Like guys who just work nine to fives and you know what I'm saying, like go to go to college and shit, what do they do? Like to better themselves? No, as far as status, because if we say this looks money and status, how do you get all three? So let's say you look good, you got money, how do you get status? As a as a as a just a you know, a guy that he works at freaking you know, Chase Bank or something. I mean, with that, with that average person, I guess mm -hmm. if we're specifically talking about a person like that, then mm -hmm. it will more be about networking and getting with the right people. Mm -hmm. And so how does that equate to a woman wanting to have sex with you? <laughs> That's what I want to know. So it, I guess it, 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 it doesn't equate, but I, what I'm trying to, because I said in the comments earlier, uh, mm -hmm. I guess you read it, but I said eighty percent of men are seen as unattractive to most to most women, mm -hmm. and that's because men aren't doing the work to develop themselves and to shape them themselves to make mm -hmm. themselves physically attractive to women and to uh, make them a uh, sexually selective mate. You go ahead. Yeah, that's, that's it. I didn't know if you had any feedback on that. Okay. No, this what is this is the thing. What I'm saying is. Is that there's only there's only one thing that make because this is the thing most guys just want or not just want this but most guys on the front end want sex like that's that's why most guys is on Tinder trying to holler at y'all want to fuck you understand what I'm saying now what I'm saying is is that there's only one thing that makes a woman want to have sex with you only one thing and that is if she's sexually attracted to you so what I'm saying is is that your status doesn't make you sexually attractive. Your money does not make you sexually attractive. The only thing that out of those three that will make you sexually attractive or close to that is your looks. And even with your looks, your looks doesn't all the time make you sexually attractive because she could think you're cute but still not want to fuck you. She could think you're cute but still not be sexually attracted to you. So what I tell guys is, is that you have to be sexually attractive to women. And I tell guys sexual attraction is your accommodation of your looks, appearance, and your behavior. That has nothing to do with money. has nothing to do with status. And so what happens is women will get with guys who have money and status because they are with them for resources and to use those guys. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's what I try to tell guys. So like if you actually want to have sex with a woman, if you're if you're trying to go off of your money and your status, right? What's going to happen is is that you're just going to be a guy that she has around because you're like there, you're second place. You're there in place until she finds a guy that she actually wants. Just like when the whole, I, I'm, I'm sure you saw the video with Jeff Bezos and his girlfriend and Leonardo DiCaprio. And she was all sweating Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio. Even though Jeff Bezos has more money, 
and status. Or I should say, Leo probably has the same amount of status. He's a famous like actor, but he definitely has more money than Leo. <laughs> so I'm saying, so, but she still was trying to fuck with this dude. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, in that aspect, I would say it's because of the charisma. Leonardo DiCaprio Caprio may have more charisma than Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos is a very intellectually smart, business-minded man, but Leonardo mm -hmm. DiCaprio is also a man that knows how to socialize with people. Mm -hmm. And so in that case, the charisma is more than likely what won her over. That's just probably I, I agree with you. But that but that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it all comes down to the to the to the to the actual man and who he is not how much money he got not how much status he got not how you know how good looking he is all it's because like all little because what you're saying about looks money and status what it is is it's something that um uh you know it's it's something that oh it's so surface level that it's <laughs> it it cancels itself out because you can have a bunch of dudes who have looks, money, and status. So you got to understand that the thing that makes a woman attracted to you and hooked on you, obsessed with you, see you as like that guy is who you really are. None of that looks, money, status shit is who you really are. It's not, you know what I'm saying? That's not going to help you out. It's not going to help you out because if you banking on that, for example, if let's say a girl got with you because of your looks, money, and status, right? That means a dude who actually has game who has charisma who's confident who has a mouthpiece who who understands his value oh, this this type of guy can come and take your chick easily you understand what i'm saying and it's not even your chick but you know what i'm saying like he can influence that girl more than she's fucking with you you understand what i'm saying because he's showing her something she's never seen before which is his unique individual self that's what i'm saying you see what I mean? That's what you got to understand. So a lot of times the problem with the red pill, a lot of times is that the red pill, uh, you know, especially, especially a lot of the content creators, what they do is, is that they prey on you guys insecurity when it comes to dealing with women. You understand what I'm saying? They make it seem, they're, they're making it seem as if women are the boogeyman, but they're not. You see what I'm saying? That, that's what I got. I, I be trying to get dudes to understand. You see what I mean? Like they're not, they're not the boogeyman. There's nothing, every, everything that you're experiencing with women is a direct reflection of you, period. So what that means is if you, if you have, let's say you dating a girl, her name is Jennifer. If, if you have any issues with Jennifer, there's another dude Jennifer's talking to who she's given zero issues to. You see what I'm saying? And that's because that guy has game and knows how to interact with Jennifer. That's that's what I'm saying. So it's not about the woman. It's about how the men are acting. That's what I'll be trying to get do some understand. So, the so, red pill keep pointing the finger at the women. That's that's the problem. Yeah. So I, I don't I don't believe it's pointing the finger at women. Like I said in the comments, it's more having awareness of female nature. Because like me, before I became, before I got red pilled and I, I learned about female nature, I would say for myself, I was the biggest simp. I was the biggest mm -hmm. beta. Until I realize how women women are, how they operate and stuff like that. So yeah, there is a, a period where you have anger and rage about mm. women because you, you never knew about this until the content exposed it to you. But you right. get over it and you come to so acceptance. But it's like I said, it's not really more about being mad at women. It's more of understanding women and what a man, what a man has to shape and him sharpen himself up to be to attract women. Right, that's and that's what I'm saying. That's game. That's what I'm trying to say. So that part, that last part you said, that's what the game is about. So, so what I'm saying is, is that the only problem is, is that when you make the game about your looks, money, and status, right? Even when you talk about looks, money, status, out of those three, the only thing that's really like about you is your looks, and and your looks can your looks can fade. It could change. You know what I'm saying? So, what is it about? that looks money and status that's about you the money can fluctuate also the status most dudes just you know is on some regular regular shit so so what i'm saying is is that again the thing with see what this is the thing i understand the red what the red pill is saying is not that it's false it's that it applies to certain types of men and what it does is that it applies to guys who are usually not all the time but usually guys who are beta males and who don't have game that's what i keep trying to tell dudes that's that's the 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 uh, the crowd of the red pill. That's the audience, because what happens is that the rage comes from realizing 
that you were played by the woman. But the reason why you were played by the woman was because you didn't have game. That's, that's, what, that's what it is. So what it is is to not stay in that sort of mindset of saying, you know, damn, the, the women and this and this and that. It's about how do I level up as a man for real so that I can become better for myself but also become the type of guy who women are attracted to for real. And what I'm saying is looks, money, and status is not it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. That's but, uh, okay. So so, so kind of just piggybacking off your statement about leveling up, how is it not about how is it not about looks, money, and status when looks, money, and status having everything to do about leveling up? Mm -hmm. Let's just be real with you. Fat and obese dudes are not quote unquote leveling up. Mm -hmm. Like if you're not in, if if you're not taking care of your body, that says enough to me that you don't you don't have a right proper diet. You're not in the fucking mm -hmm. gym. You're not lifting weights. Like this is what it is. So mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's why it's hard for me not to believe in hope. I get I get looks is the only thing that possibly will sexually attract you to women, but to, to say that looks, money, status, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter, I, mm -hmm. I, I, I just got to disagree. Because no, no, this is what I'm saying. Bottom Level feeders in, in, the, in the male sphere. But that's what I'm saying. Leveling up is about your mindset. It's not about like, it's not about, because what, what happens is all the stuff you just talked about will happen automatically if you have a certain mindset. That's what I'm saying. So what, what a lot of dudes do is that they put on the... I'm leveling up and I'm doing my shit and I'm improving, but they're not really improving because they have the same mind. So what I mean is this, if you go, if a person goes to, if a person's insecure, right? And they don't feel good about themselves and they think, man, I ain't shit. Women don't like me, yada, 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 right? If that guy goes to the gym, starts working out, losing weight, gets fit, uh, starts making more money, you understand what I'm saying? He starts looking better. He might even start dressing better, right? All that's going to happen is, is that he's just going to be a guy who looks better, dresses better, has more money, but his mind is still the same, so he's still in his head that loser. So when he tries to talk to women, he's not going to attract women because he's still the, that same dude in his mind. So when I say leveling up, I'm not talking about the external love. Oh, well, go to the gym and do all this other stuff. That's going to come automatically, but it has to be in your mind. This is why you have the body, have the money, have all this other stuff still have issues you see what i'm saying this is why harvey weinstein's in jail now because he had money and status like a motherfucker i'm getting i'm sure people will say he's not the best looking dude but he he was up there you understand what i'm saying and that's why he's in jail that's why bill cosby got caught up how he got caught up you understand what i'm saying all of these dudes that's see if, if what you're saying was true there would be no such thing as me too because the me too movement was women who were dealing with guys who were high status you understand what I'm saying? Had money, all of that other stuff. And these guys still had to try to fucking manipulate and do all this other goofy shit to get a woman to want to fuck with them. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying where it's the mindset that will cause you to actually really level up to understand your real value. And, and what it means is this. Whether or not the guy is fit or out of shape, right, he still has the mindset that, yo, I'm the shit. So if I want to actually get in better health, I'm going to do this and make this happen. And that will happen as a result of him thinking he's the shit. You see what I'm saying? So to your point, yeah, there's certain dudes who they overweight, they ain't doing shit or whatever. And a lot of times that happens because they have the wrong mindset. But if they get in shape and they do all that other stuff and they're just worried about the external, they're going to be a good looking loser. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And that's what happens with a lot of dudes when they don't have the right, the right mindset. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that's all i'm saying so it's just like it's it's just a different level of, of of understanding things so what it is and this is what i'm saying having having good looks having money having status it could it, it you got to look at that as icing on the cake you understand what i'm saying but it's it's not the it's like like for example like look at this watch like this watch right here right it make it, it makes my outfit look better you understand what I'm saying? This is like a bonus. Like putting this watch on makes it it makes the whole outfit look better. But if I even if I didn't have this watch on, right, it still doesn't change who I am. It's not gonna change my mindset. It's not gonna make me feel less of, you know what I'm saying, if I don't have it. But me putting I'm just putting this on to enhance. So I look at it as looks, money, and status can enhance, but it should never be the thing because if that's the only thing you have that means that you're not tapping into your uniqueness you're not tapping into who the fuck you are you see what i'm saying uh i'm sorry you said icing on the cake i i get i get like i guess the look the look of my size icing the cake 
But that, if we want to, if we want to refer that to look from the status ice in the cake, that's the same thing with women. Because, mm. like I said, I I, I presume not a red pill, and I listen to CGA. If you know who CGA is, and mm. CGA talks about how men in the West were mm. always chasing women, and if you know anything about chasing women, when you chase women, you actually mm. lose them, and so. Mm. What actually makes women chase you is when you're not available, when you're when you're unavailable. That means yeah. you focus on your purpose. You're in the gym. You're working on your money. Working on all, all this, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. so at the end of the day, women are the icing on the cake too. They aren't. They aren't the entree because mm -hmm. dude, we're always dudes are always ch out here chasing pussy, but mm -hmm. the woman actually runs away when you're chasing quote unquote chasing women. Mm -hmm. so, no, I agree. I don't. I don't. I don't teach guys to chase women. I teach guys to approach women. You know what I'm saying? We're just two different things. You see what I'm saying? I teach guys how to um, interact with them. See, chasing women means this, right? Chasing women is if I holler at a girl, right, and we exchange numbers, and I text her, and I say, yo, let's go out Friday, and she don't respond. And then I text her again and be like, yo, let's go out, uh, you know, um, this week. I didn't hear from you. And then I, I text her like four times. That's chasing women, and she hasn't even responded to me. Approaching and, and pursuing women is I interact with a chick, I exchange numbers with her, we set up a time to get together, we go on a date, we, we hang out, we, we chill, we kiss, we fuck, whatever it is. She's showing reciprocation. You see what I'm saying? That's the, that's the difference. So a lot, of, a lot of times guys think that chasing women is just trying to get at a woman. So they're like, I don't want to get at no women, I just want to work on my purpose and women are going to come to me, which is not true. You understand what I'm saying? Women, I, I, I keep trying to tell guys, Women are not going to come to you unless they've experienced you. I, I need dudes to understand this. The way you get a woman to chase you is she has to experience you. So what, what does that mean? That means if I met a girl, right, and at a bar, and I'm talking to her, and we flirting or whatever, and she's having a good time with me, and let's say we started making out or whatever, and I say, hey, listen, I got to run, but let's continue this. Here's my number. Call me, right? That girl will chase me because she experienced me. So that means that she had an experience with me which she wants to continue to see. Now, if you walk in a club or somebody else walk in a club and you're on your purpose, you got your money right and all that other stuff and you're just chilling at the bar, a woman is not going to run up on you and chase you because she don't know who the fuck you are. She don't know that you got your money and your status and all that other stuff. It doesn't, it doesn't, really, it doesn't matter. So a lot of guys think, I'm going to just stay away from women, work on my purpose, you know, make my money, and do all this other stuff, and I'm going to just chill, and women are going to come to me. It does not work that way. Yes. That's what I'm going to say. You know was, which I, I understand where you're coming from. I, so so when it comes to that, I would say only approach if a woman chose, chose choosing signals. Oh, you're on the choosing signals. <laughs> yeah, I believe, I believe strongly in the choosing signals, brother. <laughs> all right. How, how many choosing signals you got this week, this month? I mean, not a lot, but I mean... I just feel like that, that that helps you save a lot of time from constantly quote unquote cold approaching women, because if we want to be real, the niggas with the status they ain't really cold approaching women like that. Say for example, you got somebody like a Rick Ross or a woman. Literally, she was front stage and she threw her ring as that she was ready to marry this nigga. Now, okay, honestly, and why Ross, and why do you think and why do you think she did that with Rick Ross? Because she she's experienced Rick Ross through his music, through him being on TV. She feels like she knows him. When you're a dude working at Walmart, how she going? What's, what's going to happen? I mean, he's just going to see a regular, regular dude. That's what I'm saying. So how is these regular dudes getting all these choosing signals? That's what I'm saying. But also, too, this is what you got to understand: choosing signals doesn't make it easier. Because, like you said, you said you 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 didn't get a lot of choosing signals this this month, right? So mm -hmm. let's say for sake of argument, I, I'll give you I, I'll give you like. A number. Let's say, like, you got five choosing signals this month, right? What are you going to do if all them chicks is ugly? I mean, I'm not going to approach. I don't want those women. Exactly. So now a whole month went by, and you can't holler at no chicks, right? Because <laughs> you wait for choosing signals. So let's say the next month, three girls uh, gave you choosing signals, and all them is ugly. So now you got to wait another month. So, like, you, you sit around waiting for a girl to choose you. But what if all the women that are choosing you, you're not attracted to? Then let's say let's let's bump it up. Let's say three girls gave you choosing signals. Let's say one of them is you think is attractive, right? And y'all exchange numbers. And then you say, hey, let's 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 get together and hang out. And if she don't return the call. 
You see what I'm saying? Like, just because a woman gives you a choosing signal doesn't mean she's going to fuck you. Also, I'm going to break your heart with this too. Sometimes women choose you because they're, they're, they already purposely was going to use you. You understand? So sometimes women choose you to use you. What does that mean? That means a woman, she looks at you and she's like, okay, I think this dude's a sucker. So I'm going to get him to take me out. I'm going to get him to buy me shit. And I ain't going to try to give him no pussy. But she's giving you the signal because she knows that's the only thing that's going to get you to come over to see her. You see what I'm saying? That's why I try, that's why I try to tell dudes that a choosing signal does not all the way, all the time equate to actual sexual interest. You see what I'm saying? That's what you got to understand. And on top of that, you got you to gotta look at it like this, too. What happens is, is that when you're, because when you're, guys say, I don't want a cold approach. Think about, think about the logic in this, right? If you're saying cold approaching or approaching women is a waste of time, that would mean that if a guy says it's a waste of time, that would mean that he's thinking, if I approach 100 girls, I'm going to hardly get no women, right? So if 98 women don't, aren't interested in him, where is he getting all these choosing signals from? If women aren't interested in him like that when he approaches, who are the women that are giving him the choosing signals when he's not approaching? You understand what I'm saying? So what I mean is, is that if you can't get girls approaching them, how do you get girls that, are, that think you're that attractive that they're going to give you a signal to approach? You understand? Because you can't have one without... It's a contradiction. So that means that if I get a bunch of girls giving me choosing signals, that would mean if I just went out and approached a bunch of girls, that would mean a bunch of girls would want to fuck with me because those would be the same girls who they gave me the signal. You see what I'm saying? So, so what I'm saying is a lot of guys would say, well, I'm going to just wait for choosing signals. I don't cold approach. Who are the women that's going to choose you if the reason why you don't cold approach is because all of them is rejecting you? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, it's like... It's like, it's like saying, it's like me saying, yo, I'm not going to go and approach that girl in the, in the, in the, in the store because the girl in the store, uh, I'm going to wait for her to choose me. You understand what I'm saying? But if I go and approach that girl in the store and she rejects me, when would she have given me choosing signals if she was going to reject me anyway? So that's what I'm saying, where all these guys that are fantasizing about the choosing signals, what, where is, where's it at? What's, what's, what's going to happen? And on top of this, the last thing I'll say about choosing signals, do you know that women sometimes will only give you a choosing signal once you approach them and talk to them? Meaning that a woman has to feel you out before she actually gives you the signal that she's interested. So what does that mean? That means if I took you to an all you can eat restaurant, right? And I said, there's all this food right here. And I say, yo, listen, uh, try this food out. And you'd be like, I don't like the way that shit look. So you ain't going to touch it. You ain't going to look at it like I'm not fucking with it. But then I say, come on, bro, just try it. Just take a little bite. Then you take a bite and you're like, yo, this is the best shit I ever tasted. And you start eating a lot of the shit. That's how women act when they deal with men. So sometimes what happens is a woman's not even checking for you. Then you go up and you approach her. And then once she starts talking to you, she's like, damn, I like this motherfucker. Because she got a taste of you now. That's what I'm trying to say. So a lot of you dudes who wait for choosing signals all the time, you're never getting a woman to get a taste of you so that you're missing out on all these women who could have been fucking with you. You see what I'm saying? So you sitting there waiting for the signal, the choosing signal, and you missed out on a bad chick who would have who would have who would have loved to fuck with you because you were scared to approach. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'll be trying to tell these cats. <laughs> It'll be like, it's crazy. Yeah. So you say you say scared. One thing for me, I'm definitely not. I know you're not d directly talking t talking to me. No, no, I'm not saying to you. I'm just saying that, just in general, like guys who who have that mentality, they they're usually scared to approach. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so when I say say the whole, I know you, I know you gave your analysis on choosing signals. Mm -hmm. I just feel. I mean, I'm feeling. I just <laughs> believe that the women that choose you. I know. I know you said it's usually they use you. I just feel like. They're usually the ones that, that are going to like you versus the women that aren't going to like you. Because I've cold approached many times, and a lot of women have always hit me with the, oh, uh, let me give you my Snapchat or Instagram shit. And I know exactly what the fuck that means. And so mm -hmm. it's kind of like, it kind of gets to a point where it's like, is it really worth me just a, a, a woman that didn't really initiate any kind of sort of attraction for me to waste my time and go up to? <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you're missing out on women who would have never talk to you if you didn't talk to them. 
That's what I'm trying to say. Like, meaning what I'm saying is there's certain women that you're not on their radar. And until you say something to them, that's when you'll be on their radar. So what I'm saying is you could be chilling in a, in a, in a, in a, in a fucking, uh, you know, party and there's five chicks on the other side of the party and none of them are looking at you. None of them are giving you choices. And none of them are even like in your direction. They don't even, they don't even know you there. You understand what I'm saying? And then what happens is, is that you could approach one of those girls and then you start talking and then that girl, she's feeling you like crazy now because they start having a conversation. That's what I'm saying. So now if you was waiting for choosing signals, you would have walked out the, the party and, and never talked to that girl and never got with that girl. That's, that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that there's women that you'll miss out on. So like, I, I understand what you're saying and I agree with you that, yeah, you're going to approach girls and there's going to be girls who aren't going to want to fuck with you and they're going to reject you. But guess what? Even if you wait for choosing signals and you approach a girl, you can still not get with her and she'll reject you too. So all you're doing is slowing the process down by waiting for choosing signals before you approach a woman or talk to a woman. You see what I'm saying? So like, if me and you were out and you only had three girls give you choosing signals, right? But I'd done approach like 50 women, right? I'm going to always have more success because I'm actively doing something to get more women in the situation. Whereas you're waiting around and now what happens is you have to choose who chose you. And again, you don't know if the girl that's choosing you is a chick you would think is hot. And, and understand this, most really hot women, right, aren't going to give the average guy choosing signals anyway. And the reason why she's not going to do that is because, one, because she doesn't have to, because she has a, a, a lot of guys uh, uh, trying to fuck with her. And two, she doesn't want to put her ego on the line, because what happens is, is that if she gives a, you know, a, a, this regular dude a choosing signal, and he doesn't approach her, he doesn't talk to her, that's going to be a rejection for her, right? So she has her ego on the line. And three, what happens is, Everyone, men and women, we all go with the path of least resistance, which is why you're, which is why you and most other guys want to deal with choosing signals, because choosing signals seems like the path of least resistance. And I, I get it. You're like, man, fuck all this approaching. I'm gonna just chill back, relax like this or whatever, and let the girls come. So women also go with the path of least resistance. So that means that if it's easier for her to wait for guys to approach her than it is for her to give out signals or approach men. So you understand? So if a girl's hot, why would she go and give guys signals or approach them or, or give them that energy when she can just kick back and get all the energy coming to her? So what would make her step over all these other dudes to go get that other guy over there who's, who's not paying her attention when she could just chill and get the guys that's paying her attention? You see what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is the, the, the women that most guys would consider hot, they're not going to be out there you know, giving you choosing signals and sweating you and, you know, trying to get you to come through because they already have a number of dudes trying to get at them already. You see what I'm saying? So it's like you're sitting there waiting. And so what you're going to do is you're going to get a lot of choosing signals from average to below average looking women. And the reason why those women will usually do that more so is because they don't have nothing to lose. So if you have a, 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 a fugly looking sort of chick that you would consider like not that great looking, she don't give a fuck about approaching a guy or talking to a guy or being aggressive because she's like, fuck it. What, what I got to lose? But the woman who's bad, she got a lot to lose. So she ain't trying to put her, her shit on the line. You see what I'm saying? So let me ask you this. Do you, do you, do you, do you do a, I know you don't believe in tricking. I don't believe in tricking either. But do mm. you not believe in, this goes back again up where I consume CGA. Do you not mm. believe in today's generation that for most attractive mm -hmm. women, it's it's a it's a pain. You said it again. You got, you got... I said I said for most attractive women, the eights, the nines, and the tens, mm -hmm. it's not it's you're going to pay the pay to play play game. No. <laughs> okay, let me ask you this. Hold on. So, let me ask you this question: Do you think those eight and tens um, get horny? Do you think they get? Do I think they get money? No, horny, horny. Like they want to. Do you, oh. do you think they get? They want to fuck? Absolutely. The bartender girls, right. all them shit. So fucking slut. Right. But so then, continue. Do you think those same girls um, have men that they're attracted to that turn them on? Like, do they meet men that turn them on? Of course. Right. Do you think they're charging those men who turn them on? I believe, in, in some senses, yes. 
No, they're not. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, those women who you're talking about that do pay for play, they're definitely doing that to certain guys. But there are certain guys that they don't charge because they like those guys, meaning they, they fuck those guys for free. You understand what I'm saying? That's why, that's why I said, again, this is what I was saying from the beginning. It's not about, it's not the woman, it's the dudes. This is what I'm saying. Like, depending on what type of guy you are is the type of treatment you're going to get. And, the, and whatever you accept is the type of treatment you're going to get. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is the same woman that's going to charge a dude hundreds of dollars to smash or hundreds of dollars to hang out or whatever it is, that same woman is having sex with another dude who she is not only having sex with him for free, but she's probably buying him shit with the other guy's money. This is what, this is what happens. This is what I'm talking about with game. You see what I'm saying? The game is going to make the shit where the guy who has the game is not going to need to pay. You see what I'm saying? There's only certain guys that pay. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. Yeah, and so what I mean by pay for play, I'm not, uh, in, in, in a sense, I'm not talking about the tricking center. I'm talking about going on dates. That's mm. what I mean by pay for play. Mm. Like, women kind of require you to go on dates before they fuck you. Like, obviously, you have a video where you talk about you don't have to do this, but technically, I've used, like I said, I've used this tactic all the damn time as far as, like, not trying to take, take bitches on dates and bring them to the fucking cliff. But it's coming clear to me with the red pill shit. If you want to mm. attract a woman, you're mm. going to have to take, you're going to have to boost her high perking me. Don't take her on some kind of date. <laughs> no, you don't. That's what I'm trying to say, man. Like, you don't have to do it, bro. Like, okay. <laughs> what, what makes you think that you, okay, first of all, the, the, if a dude is taking a woman on a date just to fuck, that's simping. You understand what I'm saying? Meaning that, you're doing you're going on the date with the idea of you know hopefully she'll give me some ass you understand what i'm saying that's simple what i'm what i'm trying to get you to understand what's up <laughs> what i'm trying to get you to understand is is that when a guy goes on a date with a woman that's supposed to be him evaluating you, you, the woman you understand what i'm saying that's what i'm saying so like if you think that you're paying too fuck right that's simping and low-key tricking almost. You understand what I'm saying? You don't need to do that. There are women out there who are hot, who you would think is bad. You do not have to take them on a date. If they're sexually attracted to you, they will have sex with you, period. That's what I'm trying to say. This is, this is why I said there's a difference between guys who get the game and guys who don't get it. That's what I'm trying to say. It's a, it's a totally different thing. You know what I'm saying? Because there's no, there's no, like, and also the whole thing with the hypergamy stuff, hypergamy, again, that's an issue for guys who are dealing with women who don't really like them, who don't have any attachment to them. I said this on my other show. It's hard to get rid of a woman who really fucks with you. You understand what I'm saying? Like women, like I had a friend who there was a chick he was dealing with, wasn't even his girlfriend. But he just told her, listen, I, I think we need to, you know, go our separate ways. I'm trying to do some other shit. And this woman for the next, like, few months was trying to get back with this dude. Like, she was, like, begging, crying, please, can I get back with you? You understand? I'm begging this dude to be back with him. That's what happens when a woman is really fucking with you. Now, if you're a guy who women would consider a beta male or a guy who she just uses for their looks and status and money, what happens is, is that when another guy who has more money more status and better looking, that's when her hypergamous nature is going to come into effect and that's when she's going to jump to the next guy. So guys who have game don't give a fuck about hypergamy because that don't pertain to dudes who have game. That's what I keep trying to tell guys. Get, when, when, you're, when you fuck with game, you're hypergamy proof. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? That's, that's what I'm trying to tell dudes. Now, it doesn't mean that your woman will never leave and all that other stuff because a woman can do whatever she wants. What I'm saying is, it's most likely she's not because she's attached to a man that she she actually respects. You see what I'm saying? That's what it is, man. I'm trying, I'm trying to tell you. You know? Mm -hmm. But yo, I gotta I gotta head up out of here, bro. But yo, I appreciate you coming on here, man. Like real talk, bro. Like yes, so, kicking with me, man. That's real talk, man. I appreciate you, man. But yeah, man. But uh holla, I'm gonna holler at you, man. It's a good it's a good uh good chat, bro. I'm gonna holler. All right, bro. All right, you be safe. All right, people. So it's about that time. I'm about to head up out of here. Uh, make sure you guys uh, go to badboymembership.com. 
MrLocario.com. Um, make sure that you get the books. Look, looks don't matter. Um, seven ways to attract women without your looks. Go to MrLocario.com to get your copy today. Now, before you go, click the link below and go to BadBoyMembership.com. Now, BadBoyMembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected. Go to BadBoyMembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to BadBoyMembership.com. I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to BadBoyMembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to BadBoyMembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below. Click the link below or go straight to MrLocario.com to get the documentary Game Kings, The Definition of Game.